Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a run cycle. Today, we're going to be making something like this in Blender. Okay, so to get started, we want to open our I6, R6IK model. Boom. It might look a little different than mine, but as long as it's IK, you can follow this tutorial. I bet. So pretty much, you want your end to be set at 40 so it's quick but also not too quick so for your zero frame for your first frame you want your torso to be leaning forward and kind of angled downwards a little because your your torso isn't straight when you're running and same with like the arm you kind of want it to be like reaching out like that kind of boom and then your back arm since kind of like want to exaggerate it because it's roblox it's not really like you don't need to make it sort of re realistic which is the way that i do it i kind of want it like that it's a side angle right there and then since people don't run on same foot and same arm we're gonna want our right leg to bring forward because our left le our left arm is actually up right now so we'll do that and for the back foot i kind of like it where it's already started in the air. I don't know why, but it kind of just like it kind of just flows better when it's all done. So yeah. So this is what your first keyframe is going to be. Looks something like that. Next step, you select all of it, you right click and press copy pose, and then you go to 20 cuz it's half of 40. And then you go paste x flip pose and then you go to 40 and then press paste pose because you want it to loop so right now it looks stupid but we're gonna make it look a lot better so at 10 this is your passing pose and you kind of just want your legs to look something like this raise your your back leg up more because you bring that up when you actually run then we're gonna move on to our five pose or five frame, which is going to be your down frame. So you kind of want to print down, angle it down. And then what I like to do for the arms, for the front arm, you kind of just like bring it like this to the torso. It'll make it look smooth. And then for the back arm, I actually like doing this. So you go to zero, you copy the pose, and then you paste the pose, right? But you angle it upwards and then bring it down and forward. So it's like red touching red. Oh, whoops, wrong side, but it's like red touching red. And then for 15, this is your up pose. So you kind of want to move this up and then angle it up. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. You kind of want to, that's up, that's it for the up pose. And then you kind of want to like bring this up like that. Yeah. So that, that's what it'll be for this side. But actually, since you see the arms on the passing, you're gonna wanna fix that. Just bring it down like that by pressing R and bring this down like that by pressing R. Boom, that's your, that's one side. For the other side, it is so easy. You kind of just want to select every single bone that has a keyframe like this by holding control and just selecting on the side. You press copy pose and you go to 25 because that's the equivalent of the five on this side. And you do paste X flip pose. And you do that for everything else on the passing up and the passing and the up frame. Just like that. Boom. And then you go here, torso. And then since we only moved that one, boom. That's 36, sorry. And then paste X flip pose. And then you have your run cycle. But you see how there's like an awkward pause a little bit at the end? You don't want that. So you kind of go to graph editor, select all of this. Graph editor is over here, by the way. And then press control shift. I mean, control E. And then you press make cyclic. And you go back to dope sheet and then boom. That is your run cycle. 
This is what it'll look like in the end. It's very quick and easy. It does not take that long. You can slow down the video if I did go too fast, though. But yeah. Run cycle completed. Tutorial done. Yeah. Um, it was. It's really not that hard. So, let me know if you guys want like um, I don't know, like a walk cycle tutorial next, or I don't know, like um, uh, M ones or something, like a full M one cycle. I could do that too. It's not hard. But yeah, thanks guys. Please like subscribe. If this helped, comment down below. Thanks. Master Biz, you're the best. Bye-bye.